Hey guys, the second uh, built-in JavaScript string object method we are going to be looking at is called the match. Now the match method, which is basically just match, basically uh, searches that specific uh, string of text in your uh, document and basically it uh, searches for a matching string. Uh, basically you have a string here or text here that you want to search and basically it looks for the same uh, text inside the targeted uh, string. God, I'm, I'm so bad at explaining stuff. Okay, before I do any more shit explanation, I'm just going to show you because that's easy. So let's create a te variable text like usual and inside here, uh, let's say hello YouTube, like usual, not usual. And then uh, let's say var x equals and this time it's going to be text dot uh, match and inside here we are going to write YouTube oops that'll do like so and document dot write and X let's save our work and refresh there we go we have YouTube because the string YouTube in here match the string YouTube inside the targeted text in this case very cortex text therefore we outputted YouTube now let me change this to all uh, lowercase YouTube and see what happens. It returns a null. That is because it because it, uh, it says uh, say case sensitive. Sorry, uh, they couldn't find any uh, string which is which matched this YouTube with uh, inside the variable text. Therefore, it returned a null. Nothing, and. Lastly, let's try using YouTube and put an explanation mark over here and see what happens. It actually returns a YouTube with an explanation mark. So it doesn't have to be just uh, a word. It can be a word and a symbol. You can actually have like O space Y save and oops, I guess it doesn't read space. You can actually have hello. Nope. Oh, oh, sorry. That's because I had a uh, explanation mark here. Let's try O uh, space Y again. <coughs> there we go. You actually read space as well. Obviously, because space is a string. I was being stupid. Uh, you can even have like the end letter of your hello and the first letter of your Y, and you can have it like Rue, like O U two, O U two, and it actually returns the same thing because it's still matching over here. Yep. Now the second thing we are going to be looking at. Let's delete. Shall I? Re yeah. Let's delete it. Yeah. Start from fresh. It's called replace. What this does is it's similar to match, but then once it finds that specific value in that targeted string, it replaces it with another string. So let's, as usual, create for text equals hello YouTube and var x equals uh, text dot replace and inside here what we want we are going to write in this case two stuff like so this one is the word we want to find and this is the world we want to uh, replace it with so we want to find the word or string YouTube and we want to replace it with viewers so uh, let's document dot right and uh for x document dot right x I think that's fine does it work yeah there we go now what happens is it outputted hello viewers because the text dot replace replaced YouTube with viewers hello viewers thanks for watching my videos really appreciate it okay that was uh match the match method and the replace method in JavaScript.